everybody. My name is Bobby Sanabria for LP Basics. The cha-cha-cha is a really hip rhythm. It's a really hip dance. It became popular in New York in 1955, New York City, but in 1949 is, is when it was developed by a violinist in Cuba named Enrique Jorin. I'm going to show you a basic adaptation that you could do if you're playing on a club date, like say a wedding type of gig, and there's no percussion, etc., and you're going to imitate all of the elements. With the left foot, I'm going to be imitating the guido, that scraping instrument that is so essential to cha-cha-cha. Here's the movement. One, two, three, four. Heel, toe, toe, heel. Good. With one of my bells, a small bell, a small LP cha-cha bell, I'm going to be carrying the cadence of the rhythm that's so prominent. Quarter notes on the bell. Notice how I put my forefinger on top of the shaft of the stick to muffle the bell. One, two, three, four. With the left hand, I'm going to be imitating the sound of the conga drum between an open tom above the snare. The stick across the snare will imitate the slap of the conga drum. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. I'm going to take the snares off right now and do a characteristic rim shot, roll rim shot, that introduces the cha-cha-cha, called abanico. It was developed by a great timbala player in the 1930s in Cuba, Ulpiano Diaz. One, two. Again. One, two. Okay. Notice I'm using a nine-stroke roll. And the last one-third of the stick. Okay hits the rim shot, okay? You can do it different other ways like this, <laughs> dropping the sticks, buzzing, <laughs> but the most common contemporary way we do it today, the most accepted way, is this technique <laughs> using double strokes. All right, the bass drum is gonna reinforce what the bass player plays, this simple rhythm. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's put it all together. One, two, one, two, three. That is a basic adaptation of the cha-cha-cha. Ahí nomás.